All right, I want to show you how to use this um, safety compass, which is meant for drawing circles. So there is a little bit of a trick to it, so follow along. Um, so I have my paper, and you need a pencil with a sharp tip, so a mechanical pencil or a um, one that you've just sharpened because it has to be able to fit through these small holes. So I'm going to start by drawing um, a little dot on the paper that I want to be the center of my circle. And let's say that I want to draw a circle that has a radius of, let's say, um, four centimeters. Now, here's the trick. Even though there are um, ruler markings on the side of the, the plastic here, disregard them. They will, they will serve, you, serve you wrong. So get an actual ruler, put the zero on the mark you wrote, um, you drew, and what did I say, three? Did I say four? I said four. Uh, four centimeters. So I'm going to, from um, from my zero center, go out to the four centimeter mark and make another little mark. So now I know exactly how far four centimeters is for my radius. Now um, you can see that the compass has a, a moving circle in the middle here. This white part pops out pretty easily. So if it does pop out on you, it's okay. Pop it right back in. Um, but also keep track of it. Um, sometimes they pop out and you don't realize and let's, let's try not to lose them. So there's a little metal brad in the middle of the white spinny part. Put that on your center and then put your finger on it. And when you do that, the pink part now can rotate freely. And what we wanna do is we wanna find the hole to put our pencil in that marks up with our measured out uh, four centimeter mark. So you can try both sides. Usually one side fits better than the other. And I found a hole that is correct, so I put my pencil in it, and then you can just use the uh, the spinny motion to draw your circle. So it you know it takes a little practice, and you got to be careful to not move the center, but it does work pretty well. And then you end up with an actual measured circle. Now. Um, and, and we can confirm that the radius is exactly what we wanted it to be, four centimeters. Now I'm gonna show you why the printed ruler on here sets you, um, sets you astray sometimes. So let's say instead I was like, oh, well, I'm just gonna use the ruler on here. So let me, let me do a different center here. I'll put my center on there just like we mentioned. And here is four centimeters and here's a hole. So why don't I just use that and draw a circle? And hopefully already you can see that there's a problem. So if I actually measure what I just drew with the ruler, I come up with a circle that has a radius of like almost six and a half centimeters. So why, what happened? Because I used, I used the four centimeter mark here. The issue is this ruler the zero is not at the center of the circle, right? So I, I don't know why they designed it this way. I, I think that's a fatal flaw. If I had my way, I would like erase all of the ruler marks on this pink one, um, just to remind you to actually use a ruler and measure it out. So mark your center, mark your radius mark, then use the circle drawing compass to, to actually draw the circle. All right, have fun.